We're checking on the hive I call firewood. This is the one that died out last year. I made it almost all the way through the winter, but had to put a new package on. And cut out a lot of the old comb because it was all wonky. But they've got some that they started with. So we're going to check in on them and see how they're doing. Okay, looks like they've eaten all the syrup. a quick way if you don't want to disturb the hive you just tilt it up like that and um, you can kind of see see in through the bottom and um, see how much they've, they've built. They haven't built a lot much more cones so I don't know that I need to put on a second box yet. You should see larvae in here because been, like I said, uh, oh, almost three weeks, at least two since the queen's been free. So it looks like they drew this one out and they're storing some pollen on it. Some, some capped brood in here. Uh, it looks like they drew some some drone comb, or maybe they're storing honey in there um, in between where the comb was missing. Drone, drone comb here, or they're going to use it to store nectar. Okay, well they haven't done a ton, but there's um, there's capped brood in about half a frame here. And then there's more capped brood over here. There's some drone comb and, a, and some drones, but um, not a lot of drone brood. Um, it's weird that it looks like they have a split um, brood nest. It's like they have some over here and then some over here. Maybe, uh, maybe the ones in the middle kind of hatched out already or 
Well, that wouldn't make sense because it's too soon, but um, yeah, a little interesting how it's kind of split like that, but we haven't drawn a lot of comb out and there's still a lot of space for them. So I'm just going to leave them be, leave them be, and uh, I'm going to put some new feeders on, fill them up with some more sugar water, and let them uh, work on it for a couple more weeks.